mentioned um, just after half time, you got that uh, nice try there. Looked like it came out after half time. Real purpose. Where did things go? Um, yeah, it was a real focus for us to start well after the half. Um, we felt we probably weathered some some of the pressure in the, in the first half there. Um, it was nice to get on the board and then, yeah, I think just uh, after that we made some errors and um, yeah, I guess they capitalised on um, a poor kick chase and, and yeah, then we're on the back foot again. You played uh, the Waratahs last week and uh, the Reds this week. Um, any, any comparisons you'd, you'd make to the way they play or the physicality perhaps you count today or some of the no, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't compare. I thought the Reds were, um, yeah, I guess really physical today and um, <clears throat> got us in patches there in the game and put us under a fair bit of pressure and, and forced some error. Um, uh, we just got to get, be able to learn from those moments, uh, be, be able to adapt, I think, um, quicker and better um, so we can cope. But, um, yeah, I definitely don't feel the, the Tars and the Reds were any different. I thought um, there's the Derby man and it's going to be a physical contest and yeah, we just probably didn't, didn't match up as, as well as we w would have liked. Yeah, what was your reading of the set-piece, Oh, domin we were dominated, you know. Uh, first opportunity, we got five metres out. Um, for line-out, we turned over the line-out and then we you know, managed to turn over another three throughout the game and this sort of alludes to what Christian's talking about, you know. When things don't go well, we've got to be better. Pressure, stress, it comes in, in professional sport and super rugby and at the moment we don't handle those moments well. So it's an area we've got to, uh, we've got to improve. But uh, certainly uh, line out mall didn't function today at all. Is that um, sort of exacerbated given how well you have played this year that you've sort of missed a trick to get ahead in a really tight conference now? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we spoke about the opportunity that we had today as a group and um, you know our, as I said I think our line out if, if we turn one over then you know simplify it what's what's our next option make sure we know you know there's guys that missed calls today uh, there's a bit of knowledge there around that and at times you, you'd swear that we uh, we hadn't had, a, had too many line out sessions together you know we've had a nine day turnaround had a full training week and it was hard to watch Oh, I think you know individually you need to look at the work you're doing to make sure that you're across your role and what's required there and yeah whether whether it was a mislift or um, a call under pressure you know there's there's a number of different reasons there Wayne but um, we just spoke about then in review we need to be honest and, and make sure that we are uh, uh, demanding uh, higher standards and, and, and accountability of each other. Um, yeah, we probably haven't had a, had a look at the ladder, to be honest. We just know that uh, this Super Rugby competition is a, a tight one. Uh, I think, um, obviously, as you mentioned there, it's obviously one win separates everyone. And I think, uh, yeah, well, I guess we just got to keep looking at ourselves and um, focusing on where we can, obviously, Dan's spoken about things where we can get better. And um, to this point, things where it's just inconsistent in there. Um, they were good one week, and then it's, yeah, I guess the challenge is trying to find something that's going to keep us going consistently well. I guess that's the improve, you know, to be able to match it with the, the better teams in the competition, um, doing things consistently well, often. Uh, someone who did play strongly was, uh, was James Slipper, scrum well and really good catch and pass in that, that try. Uh, how have you seen him uh, uh, rise through the occasions this year? Right now? Yeah, he's, he's been, I mean, we've said it a number of times now, he's been excellent. I had a good chat to him before the game and uh, I just uh, asked how he was feeling. He was nervous, you know. He's he's got a lot of great memories here, and uh, spent a lot of you know played over a hundred times for the Reds, uh, and coming back for the first occasion to to play against him, it was all you know. He was always going to feel a bit nervous, and you know we just had a good chat. That was going to be normal, and 
And uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of people out there today. I think most people that are really happy to just see him back playing Super Rugby. You know, he's such a great bloke, Slips. He deserves um, uh, good things to happen. You know, and, and uh, we're really proud of, of his contribution to our club so far. And and just, uh, I think, you know, everyone would be pleased, the Reds included, that he's uh, the, that he's playing at this level again. Yeah, Stinger, uh, not a lot of lost, just lost all strength in his shoulder. Um, so you know, just he's he wasn't able to catch line outs or lift or so. Um, you know, we had a six-two bench, so we you know we had room to make that replacement early. So sort of took away the benefit of a six-two bench pretty early. But um, yeah, I, I, you know, hopefully it won't be too serious. Issues at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. I guess the bye helps. Yes, but yeah, the bye will help. You know, hopefully we'll have Alan back, potentially David, and uh, yeah, not sure on Rory yet, but um, you know, I've got. A, I'm at the stage where we're, we're going to have to rest uh, uh, some of our Wallaby players as well. So um, that's uh, that's all ahead of us. As it's a juggling act. Mm. And his hands, they have a lot to do with double talk to say about uh, his wonderful contribution and also how nice it was to do the doubles for doubles. Yeah, I, I read that. That's that's tremendous. I, I, uh, yeah, my, my father-in-law uh, called me after you know Mike Coleman wrote the article on doubles and, and the battle that he's got ahead of him, and and um, you know he's he's been a tremendous contributor to the, to the Magpies and, and certainly to Queensland rugby and and. Um, had a huge, uh, you know, influence on my career, especially the early days there when you, you know you moved to to Brisbane and and uh, you know he went out of his way along with guys like Ian Cameron to make sure that you were looked after and just a great bloke doubles, you know, he can be a pain in the backside every now and then, but that's why we love him, I think, you know, he's uh, that's probably why he sold so many doubles back in the day, but um, you know he's he's got a challenge in front of him at the moment, but as I said to him uh, just last week, you know, he's got a lot of. Uh, People that love him and, and 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 care for him, and 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 he's got good support around him, and, and hopefully we can uh, uh, help him uh, help him beat the uh, the uh, the illness that he's got. But great, I think tremendous by Queensland Rugby Union to uh, acknowledge and recognise him, and and uh, you know really uh, you know we've got, we've got to make sure that when when good things are done in this game that we uh, promote it, and, and that was certainly something that was done well today.